Um, okay, sorry guys. Um, today we're gonna go over Twitter Bootstrap, um, which is a CSS uh, framework, I guess, written by um, the same people who designed the front end for Twitter, but I'm not sure. Um, and Twitter Bootstrap is a CSS fr framework that is that allows you to rapidly create front end um, interfaces that can be transferred from you know desktop PCs all the way down to tablets and computers using responsive web design, and it's really a craze going on going on in the um, web development and web design industry. A lot of websites have begun using it um, to, um, as opposed to you know alternative grid systems that are out there, and it really allows you to focus more on the layout of the site instead of um, really entrenching yourself in um, the CSS coding um, aspect of the design process. And really, if, if, you're, if you're into web design and if you're into web development, I think this is something you really should add into your repertoire. And a lot of employers, I know a lot of employers are beginning to look at this as a, really as a requirement because you know, if, if you can learn and if you can master Twitter Bootstrap, and you probably could master, you know, the other CSS-based frameworks out there, and really good thing to um, to have in your toolbox um, per se. So, this tutorial gonna, is going to cover um, creating a sample web application using Twitter Bootstrap, and it's going to encompass um, using both um, HTML and CSS along with Boot uh, Twitter Bootstrap, jQuery, and perhaps some PHP. So um, just go around the website, which is twitter.github.com slash bootstrap, and look around and look at some of the examples they have on there. And I think they have three. If you scroll down, you can really see the power of um, Twitter Bootstrap and what it's being used, um, what how it's being used, rather, to create web applications. So. Um, it's, a, it's a really amazing framework and with some editing and some customization you can really start to see how it could help your design process. Even if you're a beginner at CSS, I think this should be something um, you should try out because it forces you to go into, it forces you to um, try out the best practices in HTML and CSS. Um, you know, I know some people who still use tables to uh, create layout. So, I mean, this really is a straightforward process to create really beautiful looking responsive app web applications. And by responsive, I mean, if I were to, if I were to um, take this website and narrow it down, you can see that it's automatically um, responding to the size of the image or the size of the browser or viewport, if you will and um, automatically changing its layout and this is done by using media queries which are um, conditional based queries that allow you to um, set specific CSS rules based on um, the viewport, the size of the viewport and you can really do some interesting stuff with it so stay tuned and um, I'll see you in the next part. Thank you.